less than five miles away and as much as I am so looking forward to our catamaran, that is the fastest we have ever traveled 50 miles. <laughs> It's another chilly morning here in Sarasota, but we are just getting our last minute things done and then we're off. We're sailing out into the Gulf, down the west coast of Florida, and we're probably gonna stop at a little place called Calle Costa that we missed on the way up here. I must say that Sarasota was never really on our radar, but it is a really good place for cruising. We stayed on the mooring here last night at uh, Marina Jackson. The sailing squadron's right over there. There was a public boat ramp right over there that we we docked at last night to walk right across the street to get some provisions from Publix which is amazing and then you got that wide open bay to be able to sail in even with a deeper draft can't really beat that there's two cuts into the Gulf behind me here they both look a little like they could be a little bit sketchy but it's offshore winds and the seas are just flat calm out there so we'll be fine navigating through the cuts we'll just keep our boards up and then once we're out there, we'll be ripping along the coast. The wind is directly offshore, so we'll be beam reaching all the way down, which will be a very pleasant sail. 48 miles or so to Kayakasa. We're just gonna top off with water here at Marina Jacks real quick and get Jetty ashore before we go. We are just heading out the cut here in Sarasota, the one that's just slightly to the south. I think it's right next to Siesta Key. I'm pretty sure that's Siesta Key. Anyway, it's a, it definitely looks like, like a sketchy kind of cut where it's shifting shoals and stuff like that. But again, the water is crystal clear. We can really see the depths well. And it's super, super calm out because it's straight offshore wind. So I definitely don't think we'd be doing this cut in anything more than this. We'd probably head south and go out. I think Venice is a much much safer cut, but we're all good today. How you doing? Good. I'm excited to go run on a long white sandy beach. We really want to pull up to these sandbars right here and just check it out, but we'll do that down down south when we get to Kai Costa. sheet sometimes just in case we have to dump some power which we did a couple times but nothing too crazy but we're just we're just ripping along we were on the beam reach before so it was really nice just flying and every time i got a gust i could just bear off with the gust the wind shifted a little bit more out of the south so now we're on like a close reach so now every time we get too much of a gust i just kind of feather into it a little bit but uh so much fun
by far. What do you think? So much fun. Like, we left like late morning, getting there like early afternoon. <laughs> Instead of leaving at crack of dawn and getting there in the evening. Good day, good day. We got 4.4 miles to go. This is Kaya Costa State Park over here, and as you can see, this is a popular little anchorage for cruisers. Got some boots all around. Yeah, what did you do? <laughs> How'd you get all wet, Jets? Is it from the trampoline? It's like two feet deep right here. So this boat's pretty cool because you can slide the rudder all the way out of the cassette and have like no draft from it and our deck boards up obviously but when you slide it all the way up you gotta kind of hold it it doesn't sit it wants to slide back down it does sit there like like if you get it in like that position it, it'll just stay all day long it's kind of clamps itself into position probably could tie a simple line from here to the boom if we wanted to keep it in but have it way up but calm and we have the engine on so we could just pull it out and motor if we want to. We're back in deeper water so we're good for now. Look at that. Right in to our own private little bay. We took a little siesta and now we are going to get the dinghy all set up and we're gonna go like a mile and a half to a little place called Love Canal that takes you right over to the beach and apparently it's a beach where nobody is at so we'll have all the space in the world to work out and run and look for shells. Hello. <gasps> you shut, put it on her. Why can't you get under there, Jess? Ta da! We've almost made it to the love canal. There's the entrance. What do you think's gonna happen when we enter? We're gonna have to put the camera away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> It's a little deep for the engine, so Billy has gotten out the oars. Appropriate for the love. <laughs> Make that romantic. Romantically well. I don't think it's canal. Looks so cool. <laughs> so romantic. <laughs> Look at this. We're there. Ah, uh, don't pop the thing uh, uh, Push, push, push. Don't jump, don't jump, don't jump yet. One, two, three! So this is a little secret spot that our friend 
Charlie told us about who we met over at the race this weekend, um, the one with the cool trawler. He gave us a bunch of little spots to hit as we head south along the Gulf Coast here. And this is one of them that's pretty cool. Which way? Which way? This way. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa. <laughs> Just in time. Look at that. It is beautiful out here. Long empty beach as far as you can see. <laughs> 